Good morning. Amazon is preparing layoffs that could total about 10,000 workers as the company continues cost cutting. The Wall Street Journal says the layoffs could begin this week and would target Amazon's device businesses, which includes Alexa, as well as human resources and retail. Many tech companies grew quickly during the pandemic and now perceive they have too many workers as the economy slows. Well, an Alzheimer's drug developed by the Swiss company Roche could not be proven in clinical trials to slow the progression of dementia. The studies were conducted with patients over two years. They made very little change in problem-solving skills, memory, and judgment. Stocks ended lower yesterday. Investors got worried again about the Federal Reserve and the pace of interest rate hikes. And a third railroad union has rejected a tentative labor deal, a move that further raises the odds that America's 110,000 freight railroad workers will go on strike next month. All 12 rail unions must approve the deals to prevent a strike, although no strike is imminent because all the unions have agreed to keep negotiating until a deadline early December. And a survey of 2,000 seniors, 64 and older, found 35 percent have cut down on costs in other places of their life in order to afford their health care needs. The poll was conducted by one poll for ClearMatch Medicare, and it found three in four seniors struggle to afford certain aspects of their health care, at least some of the time. And 38 percent agree health care is more expensive now than they remember it ever being. From the Nasdaq Market Site, I'm Jane King with your Morning Business Report.